Hi, I'm Joe Feeks, editor of Pig Health Today, and with me is Brad Greenway. He's a pork producer from Mitchell, South Dakota, and also 2017's America's Pig Farmer of the Year. Brad, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're a busy guy. You know we do. I, uh, yep, we run a diversified farm in South Dakota, and so along with the pigs, we've got a cattle herd, and then we grow crops also. So, yep, it, it keeps everybody busy. It's my wife and I, and we have a full-time employee, and we've got a son that's starting to come back, and so, yeah, we, we, we've got a lot of things going on at all times of the year, it seems like. In addition to all of your activities on the farm, uh, as I said, that you're the American Pig Farmer of the Year, you're also extremely active in the uh, U.S. Farmers and Ranchers Alliance, you spend a lot of time talking to customers, don't you? You know, I, I really do. I put into venues and I go and talk to audiences that normally we're not talking to. And it's and I've always said that, you know, it's being there and talking to the consumers and talking to the food influencers. And so it's been a, it's been an honor to be in that role this year. From food tech conferences to sustainable conferences and either sitting on panels or having conversations with food companies on what the decisions they make. Uh, it's been a dual role this year and I've enjoyed every bit of it. Now, people are a lot more concerned about where their food comes from, how the livestock is raised. Uh, there's social media, so they're all talking to each other, and there are different groups telling different stories. How do pork producers get their arms around this and do a better job of being more proactive and telling the pork industry story? Every generation, we're another generation removed from the farm. It used to be everybody had a connection, whether it was their parents or their grandparents, and now you don't find that. I mean, we're less than two or three percent of the population. So it's our role as pig farmers and farmers in general to get our message out. And so right now, consumers truly are interested in how food is grown and raised. And so we have to be the source. We have to be the resource of where they get their information. And so Every, every farmer can have a role, do a small part. It doesn't take a lot. You mentioned social media. I mean, post a picture, post a video, engage in a conversation, get something you do every day because consumers truly are interested in what we're doing on the farm. People are longing for information. So again, it's an opportunity. Now's our chance. We need to get the information to it. Be a resource. There's all kinds of information out there on social media. And so how can we be the one that they go to? If they want to talk about pig farming or they want to talk about how crops or pesticides are applied to crops, we need to be the person they go to. What in your mind is the most misunderstood aspect of pork production? Animal welfare and of course antibiotics right now is at the forefront and it is and there's so many labels coming out there, there's so many claims and so honestly right now I think the thing for us going forward is how we address the use and the responsible use of antibiotics of what we're using on our farm but still convey the message that we as farmers every day we need to take care of our animals and to use antibiotics responsibly. Well and I think animal welfare is something that everybody in the industry and all consumers can agree on yet there is increasing pressure on pork producers and other producers of protein to significantly reduce or maybe even eliminate the use of antibiotics. I think that's some of the message that we need to convey how we're taking care of our animals every day whether it's putting them in buildings in our case it was that you know what we wanted to get them out of the elements if you can keep the animals comfortable the increased use of vaccines uh, there's things that we are using to do to improve gut health there's just a lot of things we need to convey that we want to do everything we can to keep the animal healthy to begin with but by all means if an animal gets sick which they do we still have to be able to treat that and so use antibiotics responsibly but we need to have them available to the farmer in, in, when we do need them. Now it's been said that there's roughly maybe five percent of the population out there that no matter what you tell them about pork production, antibiotic use, welfare, they've already got their mind made up, they're going to stay with their own agenda. But you do have the other 95 percent. Uh, when you talk to consumer groups, are, are there particular things that they tend to ask about most, I mean, you mentioned antibiotics and welfare, but are there other aspects of production that they needle you on? It's the environment. The environment and the sustainability right now. And I had this question posed to me here literally last week, a gal come up, and it was from a, one of the food companies. She says, well, Brad, you mentioned sustainability. How, what is sustainability on your pig farm? We've got a great story to tell. How much, you know, by keeping the animals healthy and comfortable, less feed. You know, switching our barns to LED. We've got a carbon footprint calculator in the pork industry that we can put all our inputs in and it will show us how much per pound of pork. 
And so when you start explaining what we're doing for sustainability, or even how we apply the nutrients compared to what we did years ago, an environmental message. So animal welfare, antibiotics, environment, and sustainability are the things that I get the most questions about. What are you doing? How can you protect the land? And what are you doing? We've got a great story to tell. We just need to tell it. Now let's talk about the food service industry for a moment because it's very competitive, they're marketing minded, and they get opportunistic. So when they hear that producers or that consumers want antibiotic free, they just want to put that on their label. What sort of interactions have you had with the food service well, part of the industry? It's about choice. I mean, that's, I've always said, that's why we live where we live. But whether it's organic, whether it's local, whether it's antibiotic free, that's fine, but we can't use it as a marketing ploy that we drive a whole industry that way for the wrong reasons. And I've always said that, just remember, everything we do, whether it's the way we change the housing of our animals, whether we decide you know, use one technology or the other, it needs to come down to the welfare of the animal. And so be careful on some of these things that you're putting out there, because it needs to come down, is it right for the animal? Every day on my farm, that's what I think about. You know what, I could change this, but is it gonna make it better for the animal? And that's truly what I look at. And so sometimes when you go, we're gonna go antibiotic free, make sure that we're doing it for the right reasons. And, we, and, uh, and a lot of times that isn't the case. They make a decision on a marketing or the pressure from the outside, and it's not the right thing when it comes back to the farm and what's right for the animal. And I guess it's important for producers to be confident in their story. How do they become more confident so that they can get onto social media and, and other outlets and, and be more proactive with the story? We know on our farm we're trying to improve every day. People don't understand that. And so don't be afraid to take that first step, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Have a conversation somewhere you're not comfortable with and just see how it goes. You'll find out in, in so many places that I've been, a lot of them just want to have a conversation with a farmer. You know, they love farmers, but they don't necessarily, if they know what we're doing today is farming because it's changed so much. And so I think you'd be surprised, any pig farmer or producer would be surprised when they start having a conversation. I'd encourage them to step out of your comfort zone, go some someplace sometime, and don't be afraid to engage.